Okay, as promised. Uh, the steps for our film activity. Open your Google, well, Google or any other one, uh, and type the name of the movie you, you work with. Um, I watched something about Chicago 7. I don't remember the name, so I just put here Chicago. Ah, okay, so Google gives me, gives me the name. Yeah, that's the movie I watched, the trial of the Chicago 7. Um, I don't recommend look for the summary or resumo on Wikipedia because Wikipedia will give you the whole story. Um, and if people haven't watched the film yet, uh, we'll give spoilers. We don't want to do that, do we? Okay, so I recommend come here on your right. Most of the time, there'll be a very wee summary. Copy. Open your Google Translate. Face. Ctrl V, Ctrl C. Ah, Chris, but I can talk about the film. I have in, my English is good enough. I know, I know that. But the main point here is working with new vocabulary, uh, pronunciation, listening, etc. So we don't have time to be worried about grammar if I'm writing right, if it's correct, if it's not correct. So let's just copy paste this time. Uh, and then we can improve vocabulary, you see, uh, based on the infamous, infamous. In funny, okay. We learn preposition based on, you see, charged by. Um, so it's interesting. Uh, we have here example charged by acusados pelo. Mm -hmm. um, we have another trial transfixed. What is trial transfixed? Julgamento trial transfixed paralisou. Wow. Sparked, posso, já, posso usar como gerar. Oh, interesting. Mannheim, what is this? Chaos. Olha, outra word para chaos. Undermine, minar. So we see, we learn many new words without being worried with grammar. Another thing is Listen. The I film think. is based on the infamous 1969 trial of seven defendants charged by the federal government with conspiracy and more. Arising from the countercultural protests in Chicago at the 1968 Democratic National Convention. The trial transfixed the nation and sparked a conversation about mayhem intended to undermine the U.S. government. Okay. Of course, listen to it many times. And then after that, if you are not sure about few words, you just uh, leave them alone, you see? Well, I'm deleting, I'm just keeping the words I want to be sure I will pronounce correctly, okay? And then now I will listen only the words I selected. Infamous defendants trial transfixed. Infamous defendants trial transfixed. Again, let's, you can listen to it many times. And then. Infamous defendants trial transfixed. Okay. Now you will practice. You will see if you are speaking them correctly. So. Infamous. Spark, spark, spark. Okay, you see sometimes um, <laughs> you need to pronounce really loud. Anyway, um, I don't remember the other words. Uh, trial, trial. Trial, 
transfixed. Sparked. Sparked. Yeah. Sparked. I'm not saying fart. I'm saying sparked. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. So you see, uh, everything you are you say is all uh, transcribed. So you know you are speaking correct or well, at least you have the feeling <laughs> you are. Okay. And then after that you will um, fill in those sentences. Remember, um, I watched a film called The Trial of uh, Chicago 7. Uh, it takes place in Chicago <laughs> um, in the late 60s. And the story is about, then you will read the summary, okay? That summary, you work, you copy it there. So the film is based on the infamous 1969 trial of seven defendants charged by the federal government with conspiracy and more, blah, 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 blah. Um, Sasha Cohen. Michael Keaton, oh, many other actors, famous actors are in it, um, but I don't remember the names, but I, I only a couple of them. And I give 10 out of 10. They like ranking movies, so let's rank, okay? So this is the way you are supposed to do it. If you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to send me messages, okay? See you guys later. Bye.